Kelsey. A bill being considered in the Iowa House could dramatically reduce the influence of diversity, equity, and inclusion programs at the state's three public universities. Those programs have been used to promote things that protect a student's race, gender identity, or sexual orientation. But critics say it's used to protect far-left political activism. KCRG TV9's Brian Tabak went to Iowa City to hear the debate from University of Iowa students themselves. Brian? That pill passed the House Education Committee earlier this month. Northern Iowa, Iowa State, and the University of Iowa then immediately put a hold on any expansion of their diversity, inclusion, and equity programs. Tonight, the Iowa African American Association says if this bill passes, it will only hurt teaching of diversity in schools. But another student says the money's better spent elsewhere. Iowa sophomore political science student Kyle Clare says it's simply not fair. I don't think the university has to be forced to always consider race when it comes to certain things. That's why he testified before a House subcommittee in favor of banning public funding for diversity offices and the administrators who run them. That's a lot more beneficial to the taxpayers of Iowa and the people of Iowa than DEI ever will be. Schools like Iowa have greatly increased their diversity, equity, and inclusivity programs in an effort to protect minority students while educating the entire student population. It seems obvious to Majida McConey. Very sad, honestly, and shocking that in 2023 that sort of thing is still even a discussion. McConey, a junior at the University of Iowa, is the president of the African Student Association. She joined the organization to find a place where others shared the same African heritage. But there isn't a lot of spaces for you to do that, and especially if you're African. Those who want to eliminate diversity offices and administrators say they aren't against the program. They oppose public dollars being spent on what they see as progressive political effort impacting every student. It's important that any funding that the state gives to the university is going towards education and nothing else. That's an argument McConey says she simply doesn't understand. I go to my classes and most of the time I'm the only African-American student in there. So it's just shocking that people say there's too much DEI, but anything there isn't enough. That bill makes exceptions for federal research, short-term speakers, and student groups on campus. The Iowa Board of Regents has just started what it calls a comprehensive study and review of the DEI programs already in place at Iowa, ISU, and Northern Iowa. In the studio, Brian Tabak, KCRG, TV9 